Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Craft with Barbara Drake. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I wanted to show you the stamps that I'm going to be working with today. This is the Friendly Hello Celebration Stamp Set. Now let me explain a little bit about Celebration if you don't know. For every $100 or $50 that you spend before shipping and taxes, you can get one of these free items in this catalog, which runs through February 28th. So with a $50 order, you could choose Island Vibes, this DSP Daffodil Afternoon. For $50, this is Catching Butterflies, Driving By, Sunshine and Rainbow 6x6 cardstock. This is Simply Marvelous cardstock. This is Awesome Otters. And here we have Friendly Hello for $100. And this is the DSP that I will be also using today. And this is also uh, $100 if you spend for the special moments, all those sentiments, which are very nice to have. So when you're spending your $50 or $100, you can choose items from the mini catalog, and this catalog runs through June 30th, or the annual catalog, which runs through uh, May 2nd of this year. So you use these catalogs to choose your items to get one of the free items. So the Friendly Hello stamp set is a photopolymer. And what they've done on the new stamp sets is they put your images now in, in on this, uh, on the back here like this, on your cover page. So you know at a glance if you have a stamp missing, which is super great. And then the cardstock, they come 12 by 12, but I've cut them up. And this is the uh, design I'm going to be using today. And the colors, since, as you know, Stampin' Up uh, coordinates their cardstocks with their inks and their blends. Uh, the colors with the uh, Friendly Hello DSP is black, fresh freesia, granny apple green, petal pink, party and shaded spruce so what I'm going to use today is this one which is petal pink and you can see if you take the ink pad how nice that matches up and of course you have the reverse size which is also beautiful so this is what the DSP looks like I think this purple is really pretty and I've made Three other cards that I'll show you later that I use with the stamp set and this DSP. So to begin with, I want to show you the pieces of cardstock that you will need. This is going to be your stamping image. It's going to be basic white, regular uh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. You're going to need, well, I'm using Misty uh, Moonlight two and three quarters by two and three quarters. You're going to need a piece of basic white one by four and I chose to emboss this with the ornate floral 3d embossing folder which is absolutely gorgeous here's a piece right there of a whole piece of it and there's so much you can do with it here's a piece cut down and what I did was I took the petal pink and your finger dauber and just went over it. I mean, there's so many things that you can do with um, your embossed pieces. That's just, I wanted to show you what that looks like as a large piece. So again, this is a one by four. This is the Ornate Layers. I use the uh, Ornate Layer die. This is in your annual catalog on page 164. It comes with eight dies, and the die that I used is this one right here, which will look like this when you cut it out. And again, if you wanted to emboss that, you could, depending for you know whatever look you're going for. 
And then uh, this piece here I used, uh, this is my layering piece, four by five and a quarter, and Misty Moonlight. This is an A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half. And what you do, you cut your eight and a half by 11 down in half, so you have your eight and a half here by five and a half, and you score it at four and a quarter, and that gives you your A2 size card. Let me take all my measurements off here and I'll get this card started. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to layer my first base here like this using the liquid glue. This glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room. If you can't, if you're not very good at lining up straight right away, this glue stays wet for a little bit that you can adjust it. And then my next piece, I'm going to take this one by four and I'm going to glue it down on the ornate layer piece. You can also use, uh, if you have your seal plus, especially when you're working with embossed pieces because you have all those grooves in there. You want to really make sure you get it down and I've cut this down so it fits exactly within the center there. Get that lined up. Push that down making sure that all those pieces get it straight. Okay, so we have those two done. And then on this piece here, we're going to do our stamping. And I am going to use the bird in this one here. I'm going to use my memento. So I'm going to do more like this. good enough because once I'm going to be using uh, I'm going to be using stamp and blends on these and I'll show you the colors as I use them and I think I'm going to try to use this little hello stamp in misty moonlight always test it out first making sure you don't have it upside down I'll try to get that as straight as possible on my image. Hopefully it won't be a little crooked, but if it is, oh, that looks good to me. Use your chamois to clean your stamp off. Those little ones will come off, so you have to be very careful. Oh, let me tell you where I got that stamp set from. I'll just, yeah that one out because I wasn't sure I was going to use it. This was from Free as a Bird. I use this little hello right there. And these are your cling stamps. Put that back in there. This is a pretty stamp set. I have not used this yet, but that's on my list of things to do. Okay, so I'm going to use Stampin' Blends. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the bird. And I'm using the Balmy Blue Light and Dark. I'm going to start with the dark. 
if you don't know anything about Stampin' Up, um, Stampin' Blends, they're alcohol markers, and they come two in a pack, so you get a light and a dark. So I'm going to start with the dark balmy blue. I like the other end on this here. And I'm just going to follow the lines here in the leaves because that helps a little bit with the shading. I might go a little bit around the head. I'm from Delaware and we had a lot of snow this weekend. I don't know if you had a lot of snow where you're at, but along the East Coast, this is the uh, most snow we have had in a long time. And I'm hearing we got about 13 inches, which was hard to tell in our yard, only because we had the wind was blowing so strong, we had so many drifts. It's not funny. But I love the cold weather, but I do not like snow. And we don't get that much snow here in Delaware, which is a good thing. So I'm just going over that with the light. I'm leaving a little open space here for the belly. because I'm going to use, for the belly I'm using the Petal Pink Light and Dark. I'm going to start with the dark first. Just kind of come up close. I'm going to leave the center open to use the light. Then I'll come back and blend it. And I'll just go over the whole thing with the light. And the alcohol blends, they'll start to soak up into the cardstock, as you can see, and it'll spread out. So you do have to be careful when you get close to the lines because you could very easily come out of the lines. So next I'm using bronze. The bronze comes with um, in a combo pack with bronze and ivory. Ivory is a very pretty color, too. This here. There's your light. And this is the, the dark on it. So I'm going to use the, just the bronze here. I'm going to use this tip here because you have a very thin line here. And as you can see, when I stamp that, I didn't get uh, full coverage with the ink here on the flower, but that's okay because once you use your markers, it's going to cover it up anyway. So there we have that. Now, you could make it all green if you wanted to, but I look at it more like a branch. And then I'm going to take Mossy Meadow and use this for the, for the leaves, just covering right there the veins a little bit. This isn't going to show up too much. You could use like a Granny Apple Green if you wanted. This just gives it a little bit of a green color here. Sometimes if you just use the tip of this in uh, small spots, if you just kind of touch like this and dot it, instead of giving it a line like that it might be a little easier just to make a few little dots and now for the flower I am using daffodil delight dark and light 
I'm going to start with my darkest color first. And I'm going to do the lines here in the flowers. Because this will just give it a uh, more like a shading look. Again, when you're using the dark into the center. And like I said, I am in no means an expert when it comes to coloring, but I do love to color, whether it's stamped images or coloring book. You could also use this stamped image and use it on watercolor cardstock. Stampin' Up sells, I believe it's Fluid 100. I have it, I just haven't used it yet. And you could use your, your right markers because they're watercolor, or you can use their watercolor pencils, or you could use you could use your ink pad and get a little bit of ink in the top of your lid and use your water painters. Or you can even use your re ink refills with a little bit of drop. You know, you could, some people smash their lids like this into the pad there sometimes you'll pick some up there and you can use it that way or you could just take a little dropper of your ink refill and then use your water painter that way and use that on your and make a watercolored image i'm going to go uh, over this with the dark just a little bit more here it's kind of scribbling there And then for the center of the flower, I am going to use Poppy Parade Light. And I'm just going to, again, it's just a small area here. And you're not really going to see it because I'm going to put some gems on there. Which now that I think about it, I forgot to get those out. So, now that is done. So what I want to do is, I want to get this lined up on here like that. I don't think I'm going to. Let me have the petal pink light. I'm going to go over that belly again. little liquid glue here if you have your seal you could use your seal scrap paper. Smash that down. All right, now how this is going to go on here like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down and I can use my foam um, I think I may use foam adhesive on that. So let me go ahead and get this down, get this as close as possible to center. You could use your grid paper here to 
try to help you line it up. That's why I like the, the liquid glue. Okay, don't turn that, Barbara. Okay, that looks pretty centered to me. And then this will go like that. Everything ready to roll for this video and now I forgot to get these out and my gems so um, you know I think I'm going to cut a foam I think I'm going to use the foam adhesive I'm going to use a piece of that instead instead of using up so many of the dimensionals So I know this was two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of guesstimate here, make this at a two and a half. No, yeah. I'll do two and a quarter. By two and a quarter. Doesn't have to be perfect. I have designated scissors just for working with anything adhesive. So, like I said, this is better than. using a bunch of your little dimensionals up. The only difference is, I think with dimensionals, you might be able to get it, if you, if it's kind of crooked, you might be able to pull it up kind of fast. Um, but definitely with this, you're not. Once it goes down, it's going to be down. Again, I want to line this up on my grid paper. I'm going to just try to look at these lines there. And then just hope. That it looks pretty straight. And it does. Well, it does to me. So there you have it. And then your inside piece, you could use your uh, four by five and a quarter, cut it out. Um, you know, you could decorate it up if you have leftover pieces, put this down there at the bottom, you know, whatever you want to do. So that was the card I'm done with that one. And then I can show you some of these others that I made. And this here was using this one here, I used the cardstock. This is the Fresh Freesia. I used pretty the pretty flowers embossing folder. Oh, I forgot to put my gems on that. You can see I put the gems on this one here, and then I just put this piece up here like that. And uh, this is a larger card than the A2 size card. This one here measured four and a half by six and a quarter. I just wanted it a little bit larger to show off more of the card stock. And this here is the same size, four and a half by six and a quarter. And what I did on this piece here, let me make sure that was the right card. Okay, the card stock on this was the hand penned card stock with the peach here and the, the, the white dots on it. 
I ran that whole back piece here through the embossing folder on that one. And then I took Balmy Blue and I blended first on my stamped image piece before I stamped because I didn't want it. You can see how white this is where this has a bluer background. And of course, because this is a bigger card, your center piece here is going to be bigger. And then this one here is bigger than all of them, just by a hair, quarter of an inch here. But these will fit in your five by seven envelopes. This one here is a four and three quarters by six and a quarter. And again, I use the ornate this is out of the Friendly Hello DSP. And what I did was I embossed that and this white piece here. And I used pool, this is pool party, with the pool party bird. And I can see I didn't put my Wink Stella. I did use some Wink Stella on the bird leaves and on the flowers. This one here, I didn't do the leaves, just the flowers. But you can put a little bit. This comes out kind of fast, so I don't squeeze on it. It just seems like when you tip it like that, it comes out pretty good. So I don't want this video go this video to go too long. So all I'm going to do now is instead of me fumbling through my embellishments. I'm going to top those middle flowers off with some gems, and that is going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed watching me put that card together, and I hope you like these other cards that I made. If you have any questions, please feel free. You can either email me at, um, actually, if you go to my online store, there's an email address there you can email me, and that's my host code for the month of February and uh, or uh, make a comment down below this video don't forget give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't i would appreciate it very much and again thank you have a great day till next time bye